I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Danganronpa B3 Killing Harmony. Now, unfortunately, in the last video, we didn't hit 50,000 likes, but we got a fourth class trial to get into. The show must go on. Your boy has to remember all the evidence that we gathered before I forget. So if it gets cool with that, you down with that? Everybody get ready and buckle up, because here we go. All right, so let's begin the fourth class trial before I forget all the <laughs> evidence that I gathered inside now my head last then, episode. Let's begin with a basic explanation. We already know how this works. Ah, screw it. This is tiresome. Yeah, we're like almost 14 trials deep in this whole Danganronpa series. You need more motivation. Oh, my nose is itchy. My nose is itchy. I my do. nose is itchy. I, really I hate it that I'm picking my nose on camera. But then again, I don't Before really care. Before we start, I just want to ask something since there's not a lot of us left. What was that? What happens if the votes result in two first places? Then they both die! Huh? You mean like... A tie? Then I get to kill the second one. It means they're both the blackened. As long as one of them is correct, it's fine. Yo, why is this dude? Why are you gonna be so sleepy? Are you sure you should make a decision like that so mm. casually? Yeah, his voice made me want to yawn and shit. Oh, yeah, God. It's fine. Whatever. Yo, you wanna go to sleep, Thanks. my guy? Thanks. Since that's Yo, you answered, I can start enjoying this life for death game Put a now. blankie on your ass? What game? How long are you gonna keep saying that? Is this thing gonna result in a tie? Is that why he's saying Just that? Just ignore Kokichi. The rest Imagine of us though. Need to work together to find the truth. Imagine two black and though. We can't Clapping both here. cheeks. Oh my! Himiko has become so determined. It's true. People really do change. But now she's lost. What made her so unique? That's none of your business. Wait, she was unique. We should focus on the class trial. She's like every other First, whiny character in this game. First, we need to clarify... Kaito's the culprit! What? Say that to my face! Yeah, say it to my face While if you really we mean it, bro! While logged in, Kaito logged out alone, right? He got you logged out. You were able to move freely. Doesn't that mean you could have committed the murder? Alright, my memory's jogging now. He got Don't logged out. Around. There's no way I'm Mew's the culprit! Cell phone. Kaito right. Kaito couldn't have killed Mew. Yeah. How long are you gonna keep saying that? Trusted people can still kill, you know. We already saw that a bunch of times. So many times. Since Kaede. Hey, where's the lie, though? Ironically, where's the lie, though, with Kokichi? The fact that Kaito was the only one logged out is sus. But he's not the culprit. He can't be! Yeah, you're the ultimate detective. Spin that shit one time, and we are going to object to this. I mean, this is not Phoenix, right? Objection! So it is. Where is it? Kaito logged out Wait, hold first on. by himself. What are, the, what, is, what are these bullets? You was still logged in, though. What are these bullet shits? That's when you poisoned her, right, Kaito? No, 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 no. Kaito, no, 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 no. culprit? He didn't do any of that. Everybody of relax. It's impossible, because I didn't do it. Yeah, let me shoot the bullets at these I mean, red shit. We found that bottle of poison. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Seat, didn't we? The culprit was trying yeah. to pin the blame on me. That diversion was part of your plan, right, Kaito? What's Monokuma file number four? The victim is the ultimate inventor. The victim's body was discovered in the computer room on the fourth floor of the school. The estimated time of death is 6:30 a.m. No injuries can be found on the victim's body. What? Kaito. All right. Any last Let's words? Let's figure it out. Let's figure it out. What do you mean, last words? Okay, so that's the last thing that they're gonna say. The poison is neutralized if it is mixed into anything, but it is still quite dangerous, and even a small amount will kill someone. It causes subconjunctival hemorrhaging, making its victim's eyes completely bloodshot. Is that what her eyes look like? No, they don't look shot of blood to me. They kind of look like normal ass eyeballs. Is it hammer time? Mew is still logged in, though. Maybe it was still hammer time. That's when you poisoned her, right, Kaito? Let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. Kaito, Fook me. Uh, I think that I'm trying to overthink this, but I think that That's I'm right. We gotta shoot a right, small Kaito? bottle of poison Kaito, at Kaito's Kaito statement because impossible. Mew's eyes aren't even bloodshot, are they? Of course it's impossible. It's the one coming up. It. Let me see, let me see, let me I mean, see. We found that bottle of poison. Yeah, the bottle of poison. Right here, right? What? Yeah, maybe we shoot it at this one right here? Thank you! That's wrong. Holy crap, I took three L's just to get one W. What is going on with me right now? Jay, Mew come wasn't on, killed focus, by poison, boy. And the warning on the label proves it. Drinking the poison would result in subconjunctival hemorrhaging. Yeah. In other words, your eyes would be bloodshot. Didn't I say that earlier? I was like, her eyes weren't even bloodshot, though. No oh, shot in the blood. That doesn't even make sense. I'm sorry. I apologize. That's right. Her eyes weren't bloodshot. She what? Yep. They were like white. Then what was that poison for? 
Probably um, a diversion. To throw somebody off? The culprit wanted us to think Mew died by poison. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then, what was her real cause of death? Mew's real cause of death. The only one I can think of. What do you mean, real cause of death? Is it the hammer? Is it hammer time? It's not hammer time! Okay, Jay, really take a step back and think, okay? Because you are really making an anus of yourself. Killing game simulator? This is it! Holy crap. Everybody, I'm gonna get into it. Just like with every trial, your boy is gonna slowly get into it. Itself. It's been a week since I played this game. In the virtual world, if your avatar takes fatal damage, your real body dies of shock. Yeah, I'm still a Barbie girl in a Barbie world, all right? That was made clear in the program's text file. I need to get good. Miyu received fatal damage in the virtual world and died from that shock. Uh-huh. In that case, it's fair to say that the cause of death was actually the simulator. Yeah, you tell him, Shuichi, you tell him. Um, Gonta has question. What's that, big guy? Where is this virtual world place? What floor is it on? Mama's floor? If you don't understand, then don't say anything. Damn, Maki's just straight if up. Mew was killed She's so damn virtual blunt. World, I love it. The next thing we need to figure out... She's one of my favorite characters, to be what honest. What caused her to incur fatal damage within the virtual world? Like, she low-key reminds me of Kyoko. Just how so blunt she is. the cause of death in the virtual world is the one that matters. Uh, um... Uh, it seems like Gonta is confused. So why don't we review things a bit? How about we don't, but say we did. Um, so we split into two groups to find the secret of the outside world. The ones who searched the mansion were me, Shuichi, Samugi, Gonta, and that NPC Kaito. <laughs> hey, who you call an NPC, you ASS? And the others who searched the chapel were Keyboy, Maki, Himiko, and the late Mew. I was not acting like you care. How could someone have given her fatal damage in that situation? That's what we gotta think about. Now, let's all work together. Let's do it. Aww, little Himiko is all grown up. Too bad your chest hasn't grown up, though. What's up with these low blows? That was uncalled for. These Someday, blows are so low. My chest will grow like crazy. Okay, nobody wants Let's to see that. that. Nobody cares about that. Thank you, Keyboy. The fatal damage that Miyu received in the virtual world. Let's pin that down. Okay, let's spin the shits. And maybe it's hammer this time. Because I don't know why every time I see the hammer choice, I choose hammer. But there's no hammer choice. In the virtual All right. world, Miyu was fatally yeah, let's pay injured. attention, ladies and gentlemen, the so jury. Let's focus our efforts on that first. Whatever did that to Miyu? Uh huh? Was dropped right next to her avatar. It has to be the hammer. Hammer. Or going to beat her with his bare hands. Hmm. Are we certain that blunt force was involved? I think strangulation is more likely. Yeah, I was thinking too. It's huh? possible I thought she, she got was choked out. From a great height. Could she have drowned? Shit. I don't know. I'm already in a fucky wucky. We have to determine the specific cause of death. If I think about the condition of Mew's body, that should yield the clue. In the virtual world, Mew Hold was on. fatally injured. Mew's corpse. Mew was found grasping her neck with both hands. She died with her eyes open and an expression of agony on her face. As the first to log out, Kibo was the first to discover Mew's body. She still had her visor on at the time. Okay, so she definitely got choked. On that first. So we gotta agree with the strangulation. Or we gotta figure out which one we shoot that at. Right next to her avatar. Okay, it's not it yours. No, it's not the hammer. Or going to beat her with his bare hands. Definitely not that. Are we certain that blunt force was involved? Yes. Let's do it. I think strangulation is. Yes, ma'am. Here we go. Shabam! Let's go! I, agree. I told you, your boy is back. Mew's body showed severe trauma. Stop playing with me. Of a struggle. Yeah, she looked like she suffered. Very hard to look at. Right. And the virtual world is connected to our five senses. Yeah, so whatever you feel in the virtual world, you feel it in real life. If her body experienced pain, she must have been in pain in the virtual world as well. So if you fart in the virtual world, will you smell it in the real world? No, like, will yeah. you smell the tacos that I, I had tonight? Maki is correct. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so she was strangled to death. So that was the cause of death. That was the COD. Strangling and poison are the only methods that can make her look like she suffocated. She was grabbing her neck. But we already removed the possibility. So obviously she was poison, trying to get somebody to stop. So it can only be strangulation. Also, when a victim is poisoned, they commonly grab their chest or mouth. Yeah, and they that usually have stuff dripping. Throat. Well, she kind of has something it's dripping. Obvious she was trying. Well, saliva. No, those look like tears though. Oh, 
The assassin master gets really chatty when it comes to corpses. Sometimes we only talk when we know what we're talking about. In that case, her exact cause of death is being strangled in the virtual world. But is strangulation even possible in the virtual world? If the avatars were equally strong, it would be difficult to strangle a resisting victim. That is true. Yeah, if she was Maybe if you're getting choked from them, the back? No way they could have strangled her. Surprise I choke? Need a tool. There are know. tons of cases where a weaker person would strangle a stronger person with a rope. Wow, you know a lot about killing, nerd. But was there even a rope in that world? I don't remember seeing one. Then they must have used something else as a rope. Toilet paper? Something for a rope, huh? I have an idea of what it might be. I found it during the investigation. I can't believe I said toilet paper. I'm such a stupid ass. I am El Stupido. I'm ta I'm captain of the dumbasses right now. Let me see. Is it toilet paper though? Shit, it might be. Yo, Loki. This is it. Oh my god, it is! Bro! I am an during Albert Einstein! We found toilet paper. Yo, I'm Albert Jr., bro. <laughs> I was out here thinking that it wasn't it, but it was exactly what it was. Is this toilet paper? What would toilet paper be doing here? How are you gonna do it? You're gonna like roll it all I'm into guessing a big ball that the toilet paper was mouth? used to strangle her. Don't to no can ignore that. Oh, okay, my bad. My bad, big guy. Toilet paper is not only used for wiping ass; it's used for what strangling mean, ass too. Shurichi? Huh? What's wrong? What's wrong? Shuichi goofing off. Not gentlemanly at all. Hey, calm your evil ass down, all right? No time for nonsense. Okay, then why are you trying to do this no rebuttal with me? Toilet paper. No time for In nonsense, but milk. he wants to rebuttal. That doesn't make sense. What tear too easy? Even Gonta know that. And Gonta not smart. What's that blade lock? What in the what in the Dickens is a blade lock? Yo, get off me with that blade lock shit. You know I'm the blade lock no, master? I'm positive toilet paper was used instead of rope. Hell yeah, I'm HIV positive it was the toilet paper. You died no, such an awful me. death. Stop playing with me, boy. So why you not take this seriously? You call yourself ultimate detective? Shut up. Ah, use your head. Okay, hold on. Let me figure out what it is. Figure out real murder weapon. Shut up. I don't know what the choices would be. Oh. This guy really loves doing that with me, huh? No can use toilet paper in place of rope. Bro, this shit just hair too easy. Wow. It was killing horse. game simulator. All right. Because in the virtual world, objects are unbreakable. Duh. Unbreakable. Duh. <laughs> You're so dumb, Gonta. You didn't even know that. If objects can't break in that world, then toilet paper shouldn't be able to tear. That is true. That completely went over my dumbass head. And since it couldn't tear, it could be used as a rope. That's a savage way to go out, too. Going to not really understand, but... It's like getting choked out with a t-shirt or a bed sheet or something. Sorry, Shuichi. Gonto was wrong. Yeah, now go sit in the corner okay, and think about Gonta. what you've done with your big ass. Don't worry about it. Killed by toilet paper. It was a fitting end for her. A fitting end? I do not fully understand that logic. But if Mew was killed near the chapel, why was the murder weapon by the mansion? That the is a question of the ages, of it, isn't it? The if the culprit meant to get rid of the evidence, they did a poor job of it. There was a much better place where they could have destroyed it. If toilet paper was the murder weapon, then what's the deal with the hammer next to her? Perhaps the culprit prepared a backup weapon. Just in case. Do you guys think that Shuichi and Kyoko would be able to get away with a murder in this game? Because they're ultimate detectives, right? So they know what people would try to look for as evidence to try to pin the crime on them. So maybe they would get away with it and then win the killing game. I don't know. No, the culprit didn't bring the hammer. No? But who else but the culprit would bring a hammer? Mew. Wait, we already know who brought that hammer. The person who brought the hammer was Mew, baby! Stop That's playing it. with me! She brought all the things in here because she created that world. Mew was the one who brought the hammer. Mew bring hammer? Remember what she told us? I rewrote the program to delete all dangerous objects that could be used as weapons. Yeah, she did say she deleted any dangerous objects. If that were true, she wouldn't have missed something like a hammer. Meaning that Mew must have left it on purpose. On purpose? Hmm. But... 
Why she do that? Not sure. Mew brought the hammer for sure, but what did she need it for? We need to make that clear. I don't know. I'm trying to think. What would she need that for? She brought a hammer to what? Try to nail something to the ground? Map of the mansion, map Let's of the world. Mew brought the hammer. Mew and Kokichi's what meeting? What was their meeting about again? While everyone was gathered at the chapel, Mew told Kokichi to meet her on the rooftop of the mansion. However, when everyone decided how to split up to search for the secret outside world, Mew volunteered to search the chapel. That ain't it. Do with it. Maybe map use it to mansion, break down a map wall? Of the world. Uses Hold for on. a hammer. Map of the world. Virtual world is surrounded by walls on four sides, and there's a loading point between the two areas of the map. The loading point splits the map into two sides, the mansion side and the chapel side. When going through the map loading point, sight and hearing are momentarily cut off. In order to go between the mansion and chapel, it is necessary to go through the map loading point and across the river that runs parallel to it. I name it. Going to know Mew gonna hmm. build stuff with hammer. Hold on. Let's see what the choices are. Defense. Then maybe or we'll figure it out. Met up with oh, and here, here, here. To kill them with it. Oh. You idiot, she was the victim. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I think, I Let's think that we that gotta Mew click on the, the meeting. Because Kokichi basically just exposed himself. He caught himself in Maybe 4K. How do you do that? Borderline almost caught his this bitch ass in 8K. Hold on. Let me do this. Kokichi, come on. Talk that shit. Talk that shit. Talk, that shit. Talk that shit, boy. Talk that shit, boy! I agree. Give me that consent! I want that consent right here, right now! Yeah. Stop playing with me in this fourth class gonna trial! Meet up with someone in the virtual world. Mm -hmm. You, Kokichi. With me. I was supposed to meet up with Mew on the roof of the mansion. So you knew that she was gonna kill you? What? Is that true? You knew that she was gonna I clap you? Talking about it at the chapel. By the way, Mew asked to meet up with me before we went into the virtual world. I totally forgot where we were supposed to meet, so good thing Keyboy spied on us. Wait, so Mew called Kokichi out? If Mew brought the hammer, I wonder what she was planning to do with it. Kokichi's already figured it out. She was planning to kill him, right? That's it. Yep. I mean, what else are you gonna do with a hammer? You're gonna build him a she playhouse, was trying to kill a little treehouse where they can play family? She was one. Hell no. Yep. She plotted to meet up with me and then kill me with the hammer. Why not? If you wanna prove Sounds this, hot. you'll need to figure out Mew's plan, okay? Mew's plan, huh? I'm sure if I analyze the clues we found, I can figure something out. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Psych taxi? Oh no. Not the psych taxi. But I'm here, Jay. I'm here in the psych taxi. Whoa! Going 80 miles per hour gives me so much hope! Who tried to kill Kokichi? We already know. Come on, get in my freaking car. Wow, Jay. You got a passenger. Where would you like to go, ma'am? Would you like to go to Titty Typhoon? I've actually been there, and there are, in fact, no titties. Why was a bottle of poison on Kokichi's seat? Wait! Holy shit, I think I know what it is! I think I know what it is! Did Mew log out Kaito because Kaito knew that Mew was gonna do that? Hold on, hold on, hold on. To divert attention? Yeah. Ba bam Wait, did Mew log out Kaito? And did Kaito know that he was gonna get logged out so they could plan to kill Kokichi together? Was that it? Dude, tell me that was it. That would be so freaking epic if it was. She wanted it to appear as if Kokichi was killed in the real world. She placed the poison on my seat to make us think the murder happened in the real world. Mm. She did that too? Or was she trying to frame Kaito? What? Mew was the one who put that poison bottle there? Huh? No, that ain't right. Something's definitely weird about that. What's weird about that? What's weird about that? Why are you spinning the shit? Why are you spinning the shit? Fine. What? What do we got? What do we got? Small bottle poison, killing game simulator, log in, log when out. Could Mew have put the poison? Gotta be there. log in, log out. If she did place the poison without us noticing, Maybe one more cracker. then she must have logged out at some point. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. wait, 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 wait. Ah! Mkwa. Mkwa. Damn it! When could These crackers Mew are giving me energy. My mom taught me never to talk with my mouth open, so noticing, I apologize for being rude. She must have logged out at some point. But let's do this. And then what? Log back in. Your mom logged back in. Kokichi, weren't you in the salon around that time? Uh-huh. Did you see her log in or log out at all? 
He didn't see shit. Nope, I didn't see that at all. Uh huh. If she hadn't logged in or out, then you couldn't have placed the poison. Okay, but you could have. put poison bottle? Right. The only person who logged out early was Kaito. Hold on, let me see the login logout record. With the exception of Mew, who died before she could log out, everyone only logged in and out once each. The timestamps for the logins and logouts are as follows. It's gotta be login logout record. And then what? It's gotta be. But we just have to figure out which one it is. Kokichi, weren't you in the salon around that time? Damn. The crackers are stuck Did to my teeth, but it's giving me a lot of energy. So I have thinking nope, fuel. I didn't see that at the all. carbs are giving me thinking fuel. I like she that. Hadn't logged in or out. Uh huh. Then you couldn't have placed the board. It's gotta be this. It's gotta be this. It's gotta be this. Thank you, crackers. That's Thank wrong. you, crackers, for saving me and making me think straight. Thank you. Mwah. Mwah. It was oh, me who planted the poison hey. on Kokichi's hey, chill, chair. Chill, relax. She had plenty of time to do it. Here, take a look at this. Oh, crackers in my teeth. Is this a record of who went in and out of the virtual world? Yes, sir. That's right. It says that Mew was the last of us to log in. Mm -hmm. So she could have done it, then yeah, logged in. What about it? But then Kaito would have seen the poison, right? Unless he just went to his room to sleep with his old if sleepy she ass, in coughing ass. ass. She would have had time to move around in the real world after the previous person logged in. That right? She could have placed poison bottle on Kokichi's seat. So she was planning to kill Kokichi the whole time. Mew's plan. Wow. She tried to kill me in the virtual world, make us think it happened in the real world. Uh huh. Then pin the crime on Kaito. Yep. Well, that's not my fault. Which is why she manually logged you out just for that purpose. Yeah. So I was kind of on the right track, but I thought that Kaito was in on it. But basically, he was getting framed. So she did that to me. Yeah, Mew was trying yes, to pin the whole thing I'm on you. Positive of that. Mew used a method only she could use to log Kaito out manually. Mm -hmm. How did Mew log Kaito out? With the cell phone. That one I do know. I'm telling you, the crackers, they're hitting different. The cell phone. Thank you, this crackers. Is it. Thank you. Gracias. Gracias, it was the cell crackers. phone found by Mew's Mwah. avatar. Okay, let's come on. Let's focus, focus, focus. That cell phone worked the same way as the phone in the salon. It logs users in and out. Yeah. I verified this myself when I spoke Kaito's name into it. Yes, you did. Kaito Momota. Bitch boy disappeared! <laughs> I see. With that cell phone, she could force anyone to log out at any time. Smart. But Mew never mentioned a cell phone, right? Nope. That's what Shuichi referred to when he mentioned a method only she could use. She kept the cell phone a secret on purpose. So she could use it for the murder. So she really was planning a murder. Yeah, but she got reverse Unoed real hard. And she tried to set me up. Well, I knew that from the start. Then why did you say I was the culprit? Because I wanted to get it through your thick skull. People you trust and defend will ultimately betray you. This is a game of suspicion. That's facts. That street stone cold facts. Well, I think your ideal should stay the same. Because phonies like you are what make the game more interesting. Don't you agree, Monokuma? Hmm? Huh? Do I? I don't know about that. Why does this dude put me to sleep? Huh? Why to make me yawn again? Wait, what were we talking about? I don't even know at this point. I wonder when Daddy's gonna get his motivation back. Yeah! If father keeps slacking off, all the work is gonna get forced onto mommy. <laughs> mommy. Huh? Mommy? <laughs> My head. I feel like I'm about to remember something, but I can't. What's wrong, Monotara? Pull yourself together! Anywho, it's a blessing in disguise that Mew died and not me. What you mean? What you mean? He, said <laughs> he didn't even say, what do you mean? He said, what you mean? World. You guys would have had a way harder time finding the culprit, you know. She would have been able to lie about the virtual world settings as much as she wanted. Yeah. And you'd never know that the murder actually took place in the virtual world. She really would have gotten away with it, too, if she lived. So that's why she decided to attempt a murder. Because she had total control. But then why did somebody kill her? Did they know about the plan and then killed her? Then the reason or just saw it as an opportunity so to kill her? I don't get that part. Was... 
You guys are only bitching because you haven't been to the virtual world yet. But once you go, you'll understand. Seriously, it's so freaking awesome. I know you guys will love it. And then, you're gonna fall in love with me for showing it to you guys. So let's just dive right in, okay? We'll do it together. Wow, this lies on top of lies. Do you even know what the truth is anymore? What a I was sad that she was gone, but now I don't know what to think. <laughs> nice! Love the knee Backstabbed by a trusted friend. See? That's an ideal fun situation! Now we can start a real class trial! Hey, Kokichi sort of sound like Monokuma. That's not a bad thing right now, because Monokuma put me to sleep. Hmm? Really? I don't sound anything like him. We need a spice right now. Kokichi's hitting different. No, you're just like Monokuma. Both of you are cowards. You never speak the truth or show your true face. Wait, coward? You say some interesting things sometimes, Kaito. Smiling. I like this background mask, song. Never saying what you really think. It's making me vibe right now. That kind of cowardice is just like Monokuma. Daddy, they're calling you a coward. Aren't you gonna do something? Yeah, yeah. I just gotta do my signature laugh, right? You have a signature laugh? <laughs> there, I did it. He's completely lost his drive. Like a one-hit wonder who clings to their former fame. Uh, my head! Who's Listen gonna up, be the Kokichi. next one of the monocups to die? To hell with this game of suspicion crap! I will never be okay with it! I'm just gonna believe in everyone! Instead of suspecting my friends, I'm gonna find the truth by believing in them! If you think you can win this game like that, then sure, be my guest. Yeah. Of course I can. I don't need your permission. You do that while I enjoy this cracker. How long are you guys going to argue? Let's hurry this up and continue. Magi, you got the right idea. If we don't find the culprit, then we'll all die. You know that? Oh. Oh, that cracker? Right. God damn. I'm sorry. <laughs> if we are going to begin searching for the culprit, let's start with Kokichi's story. Let's do it. Huh? My story? You were meeting with Mio, but she ended up as the victim. So it's only natural for us to think you're the killer, right? It's too obvious. Here's my answer. I never met up with Mew. Mm -hmm. You didn't? I tried to go to the roof to meet up with her, but the door was locked. But isn't lock picking your specialty? You should have been able to open it easy. That is true. I couldn't pick Not looking with my good for you, Kochichi. Kochichi? I, tools for it either. I call my man Koki Kochichi. Also, who's I Kochichi? Never went to the roof. Not even for the meeting. I remember you and Gonta went off together when we first started looking. But was the door to the roof actually locked? Who knows? When I was on the roof before logging out, the door wasn't locked. Uh-oh. Huh? How should I know? Your story's going all sideways, Kokichi. Who locked the door to I mean, the roof? Kochichi. I already told you. How should I know? When I went to the roof, it wasn't locked. So you gotta be lying. What good would it be if I lied? I don't want to die either, you know. Lying would do you a lot of good if you're the culprit. What? Oh, mm hmm I see. I didn't realize that. What kind of response is that? That... Wait, there's no point in arguing about that now. The truth will come out eventually. Before we get to that, we need to discover the truth behind Mew's death. Yeah, because I have zero clue who did this. There were mysterious circumstances surrounding her death. We need to make sense of those first. Wow, Shuichi, you know your way around this game. Yes, keep up the hard work. The fate of our lives rests in your hands. So, what is this strange circumstance? Kokichi claims it was Mew who chose the meeting place. But I'm wondering how she got from the chapel to the mansion's roof. She can teleport, right? I see. Mew sent the bridge connecting right? the mansion and because chapel she's an the object, not a herself. human in the game. So objects can teleport, I think. Whoops, my hand slipped. Okay, so she was planning to kill case, Kokichi and have nobody be able to go across the bridge. Gone to the roof. Huh? So she stood me up? It's very rude to break a promise. <laughs> she had to have teleported. It's true. 
First, we need to determine if Mia was actually there or not. Did she go? Or was she never on the roof at all? Hmm, now I'm confused. I think she teleported, but let's see. Just like he said earlier, everything will come to the light eventually. Like, the truth will come to light. Mew is waiting for me to arrive. Uh -huh. I'm sure she was waiting on the rooftop of the mansion. She setting knows. on Kokichi's avatar? Kokichi's avatar had a special setting. If Mew touched him, he would be unable to move. What? Mew should have been at the chapel. Samugi's account. While Samugi was searching for the secret of the outside world, in the virtual world's mansion, she saw Mew's avatar through the window. Oh, that might be it. Okay. Fell. Let's see. It's right next to the chapel. Wait, right here? Fook! Okay, I got excited. Oh, no. Let me listen to everybody's to testimony arrive. or whatever. Okay? I'm sure she was waiting on It the might be Samugi's account mansion. though. Right next to the chapel. Uh -huh. How would she have gotten to the mansion? Okay. There was no bridge over the river. Uh -huh. A bridge would be the only way to get across. <laughs> so, her meeting with Kokichi me up damn it okay hold on at first glance it seems as if it's impossible for me to go to the mansion but there has to be some evidence that shows it was possible he was waiting for me to arrive yeah i'm sure Loud she noise. was waiting on the rooftop Mew's of the corpse you just found a grasp of her neck oh shit never mind it has to be some no. accounts Mew should mm -hmm. right Chapel. yes thank you no! i knew it was Samugi's account i just had to figure out which statement was the one i shoot it at it, you know, you must shots, have gone to the we still hit it. We have a witness, and not like that. Yeah, you know what I meant. When I was searching the dining room, I saw Mew pass by the window. Then why didn't you say so sooner? Because everybody likes to keep to themselves in this game. Apparently, nobody wants to speak Sorry. up. I thought I was just mistaken at first. These are the most obedient students ever. They never speak out of turn. They only speak up when, you know, you actually need There's the evidence no from them. Way she could have come She's to crazy. The mansion, but I guess I wasn't mistaken after all. That was definitely new. Then, how did she get to the mansion from the chapel? Teleport, teleport. There must have been some special method only you knew, like with that cell phone. There's no doubt about that. That's why she dropped the bridge. If a murder occurred when it was impossible to cross the river, she wouldn't be implicated. She used a secret method to move from the chapel to the mansion for the murder. She dropped the bridge to make a huge scene just to let everyone know it's no longer there. So, what secret method did she use? It won't be that easy to figure out. It's called a secret method for a reason. I think we know what it is. No worries, guys. As long as we leave it to Shuichi, everything will be a-okay. Exactly. What? What are you saying? Oh, we can't just rely on stop. Shuichi all Hello, the time. everybody. This class trial's for all of us. We're here to solve this together. <laughs> you would just slow down Shuichi. Shut up! I don't have time to deal with Kokichi. Right now, I need to focus on the case. I'm positive that Mew used some kind of special method to get to the mansion. Okay, I just have to figure out what it was. I saw it in one of the bullets. It had to do with her being able to pass through some shit. I forgot what it is. Hold on, let me see. Wanna come up file four, log in, log out, Kokichi in the salon, wall at wall added by Mew. It's wall added by Mew. Like a hidden bridge come on. besides that signboard maybe. Uh-huh. Or instead of bridge. Mew used some kind of vehicle to go over. Maybe. Maybe she teleported. Right here. Magic. Damn it! I just saw the word teleported. I got excited. That was my bad, everybody. I'm sorry, okay? But I know it's wall added by me. Like a hidden bridge. I know it. We just have to figure out which one it is. Come on, Jay. You can't get it wrong twice. You can't take back to back L's. Not on my watch. She used a warp zone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Warp zone. Maybe there's a place you could cross without a bridge. Come on. A hidden route that only Mew could use to get there. Yeah, 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 yeah. What? 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 Yeah! I agree. Give me some! Give me that consent, key boy! I knew it was that. Oh! That the dog and rope of master! There was a hidden route only Mew could use. Not really, but I like to think so. You know? Mm -hmm. Was there really? Like, in terms of Danganronpa Masters, I'm probably like the Danganronpa Whipping Boy. The Danganronpa Gooch Between the Ass. You know what I'm saying? That's what I really you am. But I like to think that I'm the master. To add a special wall to the world. The wall stretches along the Y-axis. 
but we found two such walls in the virtual world. Yeah, we did. And she put herself as an object so she can pass to those objects, right? Wall by the mansion, or Not the, the wall near the chapel. Oh shit. We that was kind of wet. That that wall was set so that only objects could pass Don't be naive, What the Shuichi. That actually scared the hell out of me. What the hell is wrong with you, Kaito? Jeez. What is it, Kaito? <laughs> That scared the Jeez, hell out of me! Can you set up a weird wall like that? I was so invested in it that I didn't think that anything was gonna that pop is up. Suspicious. Which is scary ass Kaito. What we were talking about. Nothing to do with it. Huh. You don't even realize your mistake? Are you losing your edge? I think I need one more cracker. Oh well, my sidekick's mistakes are my mistakes. I'll make it right. Shut up, side bitch. Alright. I guess we gotta fight with Kaito. For no reason. But I got my thinking fuel. Alright, um, let's do this. What we gotta figure out Shit. is how Mew got from I the I think it's map of the world. Mansion, right? So why waste time talking about the it's pointless? Shut up. We gotta take a Let me progress, buddy. Here. Thank you. Now wait just a second. It's not actually impossible at all. Yeah. Because you I will tell you so, didn't you? That wall Mew set up. Only lets non-human objects go through it. Humans aren't able to pass through. Yeah, she put so herself as an object, my guy. Able to go through that wall. She She's put herself as an object. object. After all. Boom! I'll cut through your words. Give me some! The wall wasn't the One take, Jay's in the building, everybody. He didn't even knock. She he just opened the door. The he said, I'm here, bitches. Human to object. Uh huh. From human to object? Yeah, no. Shut up, what side bitch. Means, the virtual world treated her avatar as an object. I'm just kidding, Kaito. I love you. She could have passed through a wall that only non-humans could go through. Is that right? Mm hmm. Don't get ahead of yourself, Kaito. We need to listen to everything Shuichi says. Is this a trap by Kokichi? He's really hyping up and propping up Shuichi. I feel like something's not right here. I already told you. The more you try, the more you cause us trouble. I feel like Kokichi wants Shuichi to lead everybody in a different direction. It's so totally lame that your own sidekick is dissing you! Kokichi, enough! I wasn't arguing with him. I was just explaining. I don't care. That doesn't bother me at all. It just means even I make mistakes. Don't worry about it, Shuichi. Okay. <laughs> It's pretty funny seeing Kaito try to act all tough like this. Kokichi, please refrain from making such irrelevant and irrational remarks. So, if Mew messed with the program and made a wall only she could go through, then her secret route was through that wall? That's it, right? Like using a glitch in a game to walk outside the map. Yeah, I bet something Mew like that. I a hidden passage like that in the back of the chapel. That actually makes a lot of sense when you put it that uh, way. Even if she could walk through walls, was there really a hidden passage? Because Mew said... No, you're not trapped here. Beyond that wall is the end of the world. Literally. Past that wall, nothing exists. Everything ends there. She probably lied. There would be no point in going if there was nothing on the other side. Mew lied. Hmm. Huh. I wonder what the truth is. There's no way to find out now. I'm pretty sure we're gonna that find out. That cum-soaked urinal cake was totally lying about there being nothing past the wall. That was so uncalled for, Kokichi. She lived a life I mean, of pride, vulgarity, things, and but you say some things. Lying would be a piece of cake for her. Kokichi, you no know have to go that far. Stop it! Don't badmouth mommy! <laughs> mommy. <sighs> Mama Taro? Listen to you, talking about mommy like she was a terrible lying whore. But mommy wasn't lying. There was no hidden route in that virtual world. There wasn't? Uh, oh, there wasn't, huh? Hey! You can't tell them such an important hint! Oh! If you say that hint is important, then I guess it must be true. Oh, shit! Ah, jeez. You're lucky you're cute. Was Kokichi saying all that stuff about Mew to get the cubs to reveal something? I guess I should thank him, but I have no idea why he does things sometimes. So now that we know there's no hidden route, why did she manipulate the program? There's always methods to our madness. Kokichi has his own. If there's actually nothing past the wall, 
then that setting was meaningless. Like sometimes I figure out things that are unorthodox. Kokichi is no different. Meaningless. She would have had a plan. Yes. Mew definitely wanted to be able to go through that wall for a reason. We aren't sure why yet, but once we solve the mystery of the virtual world. Mystery of virtual world? Bro, you heard this shit like four times. You know how to say virtual now. Virtual world. If we can determine why, we will also determine what Mew was up to. Now Ganta just playing dumb. We'll know why she wanted to pass through the wall. All right, let's clear up those strange occurrences. Yeah, Gonta will help, even though Gonta not know what you're talking about. Of course you don't. Speaking of strange occurrences, I'm just plain worried about that one thing. Remember? That thing that made us notice all the strange occurrences? The bang? The events that led us there. Was it the bang? Was it the big bang? The shebang bang? This is it! Yeah, buddy. It's always leading to the shebang bangs. You mean the loud sound that you and I heard in the kitchen? Yeah, I was like, bang! Bang, bang, bang! Ah! Oh, that was Shuichi? Well, he could sound like that. He could scream like that. Ah! What? What was that sound? It sounded as if something was struck very hard. It came from outside, but... Yeah, Shuichi could scream like that. He could be like, ah! You, you wow! all heard that sound too? Yes, in the mansion's kitchen. But that sound occurred near the chapel. How did you hear it all the way at the mansion? First off, sound can't go past the map loading point. True. Did that sound really come from the chapel? That sound was something hitting the chapel wall. It was real loud. But if you can't hear things past the loading screen, then how did it come we from the chapel? We definitely heard it. We heard Kibo's voice as well. Interesting. For now, let's go outside and check. Oh no! What? That was Kibo's voice, right? I think I heard him outside. He sounded close. So where would they actually oh, all be? Too? What? That is pretty strange. Okay, now exactly. I'm getting confused again. That I think I may to need another cracker. Clue to the mystery of the virtual world. Okay, well let's check the answers later and try to find all the other clues first. There was another mysterious phenomenon in the virtual world, wasn't there? Kokichi talked like he noticed something. Pretending not to know? Even Gonta is suspicious of me? I always thought you would be the one to trust me! And the Oscar oh, goes sorry. too! Gonta not mean it like that. There's no need to apologize to him. He's probably just lying again. Uh huh. What was the other strange occurrence? Did you see it, Shuichi? Another mysterious phenomenon. Something that shouldn't be possible, like Mew in the mansion or that loud noise. I need to remember everything else that happened in there. I can't. Mind mine. Oh, okay. So before this used to be really difficult for me, but now that I know that I'm only supposed to remove the blocks to reveal an object, then I'm good. What's that? Is this it? That I'm it? What? I gotta remove all that shit? Bro, are you serious? You're not serious. You're serious. That's not it. I gotta remove this shit. Please tell me that was it. Well, I can't believe it. You know, it's a gift, really. I'm the Dongan Rumpa Master. Forget all that stuff about me not being the Dongan Rumpa Master, something about a gooch or whatever. We I'm the Dongan Rumpa Master. Which was odd to me. Odd how? We mentioned it before, but Mew dropped the sign in the river. Whoops, my hand slipped. Right. We found it later, <laughs> but there was something unnatural about it. Finding the sign was definitely weird. I'm most confused by how the sign got there. I should remember exactly what happened with that sign. All right, here we go. What are we gonna do, another taxi thing? We're gonna do a little, we're gonna do another taxi thing. Jay, that just means me and you get more time together. Ooh. At which point was the signboard swept away? Mansion, river, chapel. At which point? The river, right? Get your ass in this car. Get your ass in this car! Where's the end of the river? Mansion side, right? Has to be? Oh, wow! Okay, I just killed somebody. Chapel side or transition point? Please be chapel side. Please be chapel side. Get, my, get your ass in this car. Get your ass in this car! Where was the signboard found after it was swept away? By the mansion, right? It has to be. If I'm wrong about this, you know what? I'll do 25 years to life for killing the person. 
Mansion side. Yeah, I'll do 25 to life. I'll do it. You know, life in prison. Yeah, psych. I already knew I wasn't going to do life in prison because get your ass in this car. Another question? How many questions? What is this? Now we got some long ass one way road. It was you shitting on my chest, baby girl? Compared to the river's current, which way did the signboard float? I have no freaking clue. Are you serious? Where am I going to put this person in the trunk? Is she going to sit on Shuichi's lap? I guess we'll find out on this episode of Dragon Ball Z. Against the current, with the current. Against it. That's why it's so suspicious that the signboard was where it was at. Okay, three people in the back. Duh. I should have knew that. That was the longest psych taxi ever. Bro, that shit was at least five minutes. Legit on my titties. It appeared as though the sign was carried against the river's current. Yeah. Look at that. How does that work? We all saw Mew drop the sign and watch the river carry it downstream. Yeah. And the river was wide there. Yeah. The that. sign should have traveled downriver toward the chapel, correct? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, everybody. Come on. I'm just trying to be more awake than Monokuma right it now. It should have hit the wall on the ass. far side of the chapel and stopped there. Mm -hmm. But that's not where we found it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm annoying. I know I'm annoying everybody, all right? We found it near the mansion, nestled in some rocks. Oh. The signboard so should have been near the chapel, loop. but we found it on the other side. Yeah, that's how Hold it up. works. Didn't you stay on the chapel side? So Mew did die on the mansion side, but she got pushed so far out that she came back on the chapel side. She probably grabbed the signboard from the chapel wall to cross the river. Right? Then left it on the boulders near the mansion so she could get back. Tell me I got that big brain. Why would she leave the signboard? Tell me I got big brain energy right now. Stranded. I got BBE. Also, this has nothing to do with walking through the wall, right? We're getting off topic. No, we're getting so off topic to get to on truth. topic. We just have to connect the how and what. All the mysterious things that happened have to connect with each other somehow. Connect how? A wall only objects can pass through. Sounds that shouldn't be heard. A signboard going against the river current. How are they all connected? <laughs> I don't know. But Shuichi should know, right? Kokichi definitely knows. What? We would be in a lot of trouble if you didn't. The only one who can solve this mystery and save us all is you. I'm just confused. Why is he doing this? He knows who it is, I think. The way he's talking, so, so obvious. How are they connected? Do you know Shuichi? Ah, well, what we know so far is that the unnatural way the sign was carried is possibly related to the wall. Um, what? Okay. Well, I don't get it. I actually did not expect to be answering a question like this. Hold on, let me really think. Let me let, let me really think. What is the question again? What clue is related to the unnatural way the signboard was carried on the river? What clue is related to the unnatural way the signboard was carried on the river? What clue? Okay, Jay, think. Think, 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 think. Um, wall added by Mew. This is it. <gasps> it might have yeah! to do with the wall that only objects can pass through. Holy shit, I really do have big brain energy. Oh my god. I didn't expect to get it right. Bro. The sign should have so happy about the that. wall on the other side <laughs> of the chapel. But if that wall happened to be the one that Mew set to allow objects through. I see. It's a wall only non-humans can pass through. Yeah. I'm so happy I got that right. That means <laughs> I didn't expect to, honestly. I didn't expect to get it wall, right. right. Even if it could pass through the chapel wall, how did it end up by the mansion? Because it went around in a little loop-de-loop. -loop. The only way it could do that is if the wall was a warp zone. But it's not, right? It is. That's right. That's the real issue here. How could the signboard pass through the wall but end up on the mansion's side? What would explain that? Leave it to me, Shuichi. I, your partner, will give you hints in times of trouble. Okay, lay it on me. Give it to me. This is the virtual world. We should throw away all of our common sense, okay? Okay. Huh? The hell does that even mean? Kokichi might be onto something there. 
We need to forget about what we know and just think about it. How did the signboard pass through the wall downstream and end up upstream? Putting common sense aside and focusing on the flow of the river. How did the signboard pass through the wall and end up upstream? It's another signboard. The downstream and upstream connect. The signboard teleported. No, okay, I meant the third one, but it kind of sounded like it was the right answer. I'm sorry about that. That's it. I was gonna choose that one as my first answer. Should have just stuck to my gut instinct. Were connected. Huh? Both ends of river connected? Exactly. To put it another way, the river isn't cut off at the wall near the chapel. It's all part of one big loop. The upstream part of the river is connected to it. So did somebody throw Miu off the side of the mansion building so far that she landed on the other side of the wall? Because her body was found right on the what? edge of the chapel. What are you talking about? Both ends of the river can't... Again, throw out all common sense from your head. We're talking about the virtual world. Then what about the wall? There was only one wall that could be passed through. Right. Even if the river's connected and it goes through the chapel wall, it wouldn't have been able to go through the mansion wall too. Wait. In that case... I got it. I know why Mew only set up one wall. Why? Don't make me answer. What are you talking about now? I actually don't know. I'm not picking up what you're putting down. The reason she only set up one wall is because the chapel and the mansion walls... One wall was already in place, so the same wall... They're the same wall? That's it! Down the road the master. The this walls guy. by the chapel and this the guy. mansion aren't separate. They're the same wall. The same wall? It's not just the river. The walls themselves are connected. Don't think of it as two separate walls, but a single wall parallel to the y-axis. That single wall divides the entire virtual world. The idea is, you pass through the wall by the chapel and come out by the mansion. Mm -hmm. Isn't that what I was saying the whole time? <laughs> Everything is starting to connect. See, didn't I tell you? Everything is connected. Damn it, Kokichi. Just tell us. It's okay. More importantly, this is the final stretch. Oh, I love final stretches. If both the river and wall are connected, then you can find the secret. Shuichi, you already know the secret behind the virtual world, right? Uh, I don't know. Do you guys know? The secret, huh? Yeah, I suppose we should clear that up. We need to solve the mystery of the virtual world. Wait, don't spin the shits. Okay, Hangman's Gambit. Okay, let's figure it out because I have no idea. M? Oh, that's a W? I stay taking Ws. What else? What else we got? O, as in, oh my gosh, I am the Danganronpa Master? L, as in I take none. Nope, it's not. Okay, D, as in damn it. Uh, R, as in are you sure that's it? Ah, war. World. Yeah. Okay. World domination. Now, what does that mean? One, two, three, four, five. A five letter word. M? World. World peace? Are we gonna achieve world peace? Oh, fool. L World Lol No, it's not lol. World lol World 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 Loop World Loop World Loops World Loop Wow! I am not the Dominant Rumble Master no more. I'm a level yes, below that. that's it. The virtual world is a loop. Loop? Loop, Just swoop, and pull. Games, right? Like, for example... When a character goes off the left side of the screen and reappears on the right. Yeah. Yes, exactly. The edges of the virtual world are linked together in a continuous loop. So I was the right. Mew was probably thrown off the side of the building and ended up on the chapel side. What in the world? 
What, in the virtual if world, you mean? True, <laughs> you the what I was swept away. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I am the way I am. It vanished into the wall downstream of the river, came out of that same wall upstream, Wee and floated with the current until it got caught on the rocks. What was the world like before Mew added the wall? Actually, it was hell. It wasn't a wall on the y-axis at all, and the x-axis was set to loop. Are you serious? Even if it is a computer program, isn't that too crazy? A looping world. That's more extraordinary than even magic. But at least it's not a boring answer. It also explains all the things that happened. Huh? It doesn't explain everything, does it? Because we still don't know why we heard that one sound or Kibo's voice. Maybe even sound loops? Yeah, sound doesn't go past the nap loading point. Actually, if we know that the world is a loop, we can exactly. explain that as he well. He could have been saying it on the chapel side, and it could have looped all the way around, hear it through the window on the mansion side. Huh? Really? Yes. But first we need to be clear where the loop starts. Where the loop starts? Doesn't it loop at the walls next to the mansion and chapel? I think so. Not necessarily. If we heard a noise at the chapel from inside the mansion, then the loop... What do you want me to start? Is it right here? Uh, what? Hold on. I, was... I am confused. I actually don't know what you want me to do. Oh, fuck. No. Oh, this is not good. Okay. Where is the looping point? There. Okay. It was right on the squiggly line. Damn the it. The map loading point was where the virtual world looped. I didn't want to get that one wrong so bad that I had to just like completely be silent and we focus. We thought the loading point was in the middle of the map. Wow. But the loading point was actually at the edges. That's actually cool. So the wall needed that is actually wasn't cool. at the edges of the world, but rather her wall was at the center of the world. Damn. I see. So the mansion I like and that. I like that. Near each other with a wall between them. And any sounds emitted near the chapel would also reach the mansion. The wall only allows non-humans to pass through, so sound should be able to pass through easily. That's right. That's how the virtual world works. I like that. That's actually a really good freaking twist. <laughs> so she ripped the map and then put it Impressive, or misplaced it. Suichi. Very For cool. For you to get this far. Yes. Yes. You are useful indeed. Do some horny horny. you horny. get this far, what are you, some villain pulling the strings? Nope. Mew pulled the strings here, not me. Remember? Mew also set this trap. Oh, camera's about to die. It all began when Mew showed us the map. Because of the map, we mistakenly thought the loading point was at the center, which in turn made the mansion and chapel seem farther away from each other. But the structure of the world wasn't actually like that. I like that. There was a wall along the y-axis, and the x-axis came around in a loop. By putting that wall in the center of that world, she cut off the loop. So ever since Mew showed us that map, we were caught in her trap. Okay. But we solved this mystery thanks to Shuichi. All hail our savior! Yeah, if Shuichi wasn't here, then we never would have solved this mystery. That's right. Good work, Shuichi. Thanks, Shuichi. You saved us. Uh, and you're welcome. What is this, an after-school special? Why is everybody being so nice? Just because we found out the virtual world secret doesn't mean we can take it easy yet. Actually, this culprit hunt just got to the exciting part. I Even agree. if we know all the tricks, it's pretty meaningless if we don't find the culprit. That's how a class trial works, after all! Kichi talking like Monokuma again. No matter what you say, I'm not gonna believe your lies. I'm gonna believe in everyone. That's how I'm gonna reach the truth. <laughs> I can't wait to see what happens next! 
What is Kokichi's plan here? He's definitely prodding at Kaito on purpose. Well, there's no time for distractions like him. What we have to do is find the culprit who killed Mew. It doesn't matter how many little mysteries we solve. If we can't find the culprit, it would be all for nothing. But I still don't know for sure who it could be. Who used Mew's own plan against her to kill her? Who killed Mew? I don't know. But I always try to use the process of elimination when I have no idea what's happening. So it's obviously not Suichi. Highly doubt it's Maki. Highly doubt it's Kokichi. Highly doubt it's Kaito. So it's either Sumugi, Himiko, Gonta, or Kibo. So those are the people that I'm going to focus on for next episode. But I am going to end this part of the fourth class trial here. We are going to finish that in the next episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cobb Scouts is that dude. <laughs>